Hello everyone. In this video, I will be covering one of the SQL interview question that is recently asked in a DBS bank interview. Given as a sales table, we have product ID, sales date, and sales amount. If we look into the expected output, we need to find out the missing sales week. So here we have sales date as a weeks. So we should have all the continuous weeks available. In case if any week is missing in between, we have to find that in the output. So for example, if we take, so we have uh, 11 July, 18 July, 25 July, and uh, 1st August. After 1st August, the next week should be 8th August. So 8th August is missing here, and directly we have next record as a 15. So 8th August should get in the output. Similarly, after 15th August, we should have a 22nd August. 22nd, is, 22nd August is missing here, and directly we are having a 29th August. That also we have to get in the output. So in this way, uh, we need to find all the missing sales weeks in the output. So let us understand the logic first, and then we can write a SQL query. These are the records we are having in our sales table. So I will be solving this by using a two steps. So first step is like we'll take the start date and end date. So I will be taking a start date as a minimum date and uh, end date as a maximum date. So here, uh, 11 July is the start date and 10 August is the uh, end date. So we'll be taking at a minimum and maximum date. So in between what all the weeks, so we'll be generating all the series of weeks by using a recursive CTE. So once you get uh, the series of all the weeks, we'll be comparing these weeks with the original uh, weeks that we're having in the sales table and we can find out the missing weeks. So in that way, we can able to achieve the expected output. So let's see how we can write a SQL query for this. This is the sales table we are having. So by using a CTE, I will generate all the possible week dates between the start date and end date. So we'll considering a minimum sales date as a start date and maximum date as a uh, end date. Okay. So first we'll take a minimum date here. Okay. So this is if I take it as a start date. So I'm getting 11 here. So to this 11 July, I need to keep on add one week till the maximum date. So by using a union and by using a recursive CTE, we can achieve it. So first of all, we'll look into it, how it will work. So I'm taking union all and I'll be taking a date add function. Using date add function, we'll be adding one week to the start date. So nothing but 11 seven. So we'll be adding one week, so it will become uh, 18 7 okay so as i want to add week i'll be giving here week and i want to add one week so i'll be giving a one week here so if i take a hard quarterly this value and if i give here okay so this will be adding one week now if you execute the whole query now you can see this first line of a query is giving a minimum sales date and in the next line of a query it is giving the uh, adding one week to that date Similarly, if you want to keep on add the week, we can use a recursive CTE and we can keep on add the weeks to that. So to do that, I will declare a start date and end date. And based on that, uh, we can take the start date and end date value dynamically here. Okay. So we will declare that first. So by using a declare command, uh, I will declare a start date. Okay. So I will be using query here to get the minimum sales state that will be considering as a start date. Okay. So if I execute this query, it will get a minimum sales state that I'm considering as a start date. In the same way, I will also declare a end date. So similar query, but I will take the maximum date as a end date. So in between that range, I have to generate a series of uh, weeks. Okay. So this I will consider it as a end date. And I will take this as a maximum sales state. Okay. Now if I execute this query, so this will be the maximum date. So minimum date and maximum date in between this range we're going to generate a sequence of uh, weeks, okay? 
So this we are declaring by using a start date and end date. And next step is we can write a recursive CTE uh, to get all the possible weeks. Okay. So this I'll be using as a maybe I'll give us week days. Starting from here and ending here. Okay. So we'll be taking a minimum date as a start date so that I have already declared here. So I can take the same thing here. Okay. This I can take here. Maybe I will be considering this as a cell state. Okay. Not table is not required because I'm declaring the minimum date here. So we can take that as a start date and I'm uniting all this and I want to add one week to that. So one week to a uh, cell state. So as we are using a recursive city, so first record will be getting as a 11 and to that 11 will be adding a one week. So it will become 18. Next uh, to that 18 will be adding one week. So like that, it will keep on adding one week to the cell state. So that is the reason you will be getting here cell state. Okay. Now, so this cell state is coming from CTE itself. So we have to give this as a CT. So this we have to give week state. And if you want to see all the generated weeks, so we can use a select query, select star from week states. We can able to see all the generated weeks. So let's execute this query. Now you can see the maximum records and hundred has been adjusted, which means, so it is keep on generating the weeks, just keep on adding. So there is no, no breakpoint for this. So we have to apply a breakpoint. So I'll be using a where class to apply a breakpoint. So I can take the maximum date here. So this week date should not exceed it more than a, uh, the maximum date, wherever it, it executes more than a end date. So there the execution will be stopped. So I'll be giving here this week date within the uh, end date only. So that I will be considering here as a end date. So now the recursion will keep on add the week and it will stop wherever we have end date. That is a 29 August. Okay. Now if you execute this query, now you can see starting from 11, it is keep on adding one week, one week, one week. And at the end, whenever it reaches to a maximum end date, so the execution is stopped. And we can see this is the series of fixed end date. I have already covered similar kind of approach, but for generating a sequence of dates in a different approach. In case if you have not watched that video, please click on the top right corner. You can able to watch that video as well. In this way, we can generate all the series of weeks. So once all the series of weeks are generated, we can compare all these dates with the main table. That is a main sales table. So if we're comparing this records with the main sales table, will get the remaining weeks which are not available in the table. So for that, I can use a uh, accept command. So I'll be using here accept command and I will take only sales state column from a sales table. Okay. So this accept class, uh, basically it is used to get the dates that are present in the uh, generated weeks but are not present in the sales table. Now if I execute this query, so we're getting only those two weeks. Those two weeks are available in the generated weeks that we have generated using CTE, but is not available in the sales state. So in this way, we can easily find out the missing sales state. Okay, that's all for this video. Please like the video and subscribe to the channel for more such kind of intro questions and answers.